Hello, YouTube users. It's been a while, hasn't it? What has it been? Like a year? Over a year? Since I made a, a tutorial? But, um, here's one now. And this tutorial is basically about how to change your ac action script settings. Um, for some of you, this may not be a big deal, but a lot of people have been asking me questions about it, so I'm just going to show you how to change some of your action script settings, because for some people it's quite a big deal. So first you go to Edit, Preferences, and then under Preferences you'll see Action Script. Here you'll see Automatic Close Brace. This automatically makes a close brace when you make a, well, open brace when you press enter. But I don't really care about showing you this right now. Some people think they have errors because their text color is different than mine. However, it's all in the action script settings. See? Yeah, it's code coloring. You can change your background. I mean your foreground, your background, keywords, comments, identifiers, and strings. I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you. If I change these uh, colors, keywords, to purple, press OK, and I go to Windows, um, where is it again? Actions, or press F9. Um, if I type the word if, it'll end up purple. Do you see that? Yeah. If I go back to edit, preferences, action script, I can change strings to red. Press OK. And, um, Bar, new, ah, whatever, let me, I'll just do this, this is a string, you see that, it's red, if I, I go back to edit, preferences, action script, comments, comments are usually gray, as you can see, it's gray. And in the comment, a single line comment. I'll add a multiple line comment. This is gray. But if I change the color in preferences to say cayenne, press OK. You see that? So there's no need to worry about if your code is different color, a different color than mine. <clears throat> also, there's a very nice feature here. It is, oh yes, font. You can change your font of your code right here. So, um, you can choose Arial. Arial is one of the fonts I like for making tutorials. And there you go. Arial font. You can also change. Let's see. You can also change the font size. You can change the style to bold, but I wouldn't recommend changing that. And a bunch of other stuff here that you can play around with that I never I never changed the encoding anyway. So that's not a problem. So yep, that's all for this tutorial folks. Um stay tuned for more. I hope you liked it. And well hopefully I'll be making a lot more tutorials. Let me just reset this back to default. There we go. Goodbye YouTube.